hello good morning happy monday welcome to this week's vlog which is a challenge vlog again now last week we did screen time for reading time this week oh first look at my bright neon yellow nails aren't they beautiful i love them last week we were changing we were swapping screen time for reading time this week we are going to see how long it takes me to read for 24 hours. Now, that's not me saying I'm trying to do it all in one day. I'm going to start a timer for 12 hours on my phone. We're going to see how long it takes me to get through that 12 hours. Then, I will, once I hit that 12 hours, we'll do the, other, the next 12. And we'll see how long it takes me to get through them. So... That's our challenge this week. See how long it takes for me to get 24 hours of reading done. Now, this could go a couple of ways. I could do most of my reading via audiobook in the mornings while I'm at work and we knock it out of the park. Or what I think potentially could happen is I very slowly don't read. <laughs> a lot during the day and then we end up with me not hitting the 24 hours until like sunday so we're gonna see how it goes we're gonna you know we're gonna gonna take a little peek peek also another thing that could play into this is the fact that i am sick my boyfriend is sick um he's more sick than me He's the one staying home from work today. I'm the one working today. Um, so we'll see. But cross your fingers and your toes and your butts and all the things. That we can make this 24 hours work. So I'm putting the headphones on. I'm currently reading via audiobook. Better Than Fiction by Alexa Martin. Um, I picked this up last year. It was a new Berkeley romance release, so we're hopefully going to enjoy this. She owns a bookstore, and the guy is a best-selling romance author. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm also still currently reading Happy Place by Emily Henry. I don't know when I'm going to finish that because um, the idea of crying makes me nervous because of my nose being so stuffy. So, we'll see when I go back to that because it was getting me very emotional on um saturday when i was reading it that i stopped and then on my kindle i'm currently reading water under the bridge which is which i'm reading that because jenny told me that i would love it because i believe it's a why choose here we go coffee done headphones on let's go hello the last time we spoke it was monday and i was in the throes of being sick today is wednesday and i have done no reading since monday morning um and the reason for that is um because i left work because I was sick and was miserable. I was so out of it. I was not coherent in the slightest. You couldn't tell me anything and have me remember it. And then on Monday, I ended up taking my boyfriend to the hospital. Um, we went to urgent care because he has also been sick. And um, we needed some answers <laughs> um so that turned into a four-hour endeavor for us um in which despite the fact that i was sick i got um no rest really um i was in the hospital with him waiting to find out what was wrong turns out our man had strep um so and he had had strep probably since friday saturday and since 
um it was monday his strep was bad that was our day on monday and once we got home um we uh obviously he got some rest I rested for a little bit but mainly I was in caretaker mode and could not um give myself the rest that I needed so I ended up not going to work yesterday because I am sick um I needed to be able to rest and I didn't do that on Monday like I intended so Tuesday I slept like a lot um we were thriving on our day quill and our night quill and um this morning when I woke up Luckily, I have the late shift today, so I got to sleep in, and um, I'm feeling better, thank God, because if I was down for the count another day, I might have lost my effing mind, because I was like, I want to be reading, I want to be working, I want to be doing things, and I just wasn't able to do literally anything, um, because I was miserable. So, today, at least... I've been able to, you know, talk. <laughs> I've been able to breathe through my nose. And I also <sighs> have come to work today. Which is good because I needed to be working. I was going stir crazy. I did go to Target this morning. And I got this sweatshirt, which does say not a phase. This is part of the Pride collection that they released. Um, this was the one that I wanted. I believe my boyfriend and I are going to end up going um, to see if there's anything he wants. So that will be fun. But yeah, I was like, this is very cute. It's yellow and it says not a phase. And even though I am not queer, I am uh, an ally. And also, this is very cute and very me. So I was like, yeah, I would like that sweatshirt. It's also very light, which I like because it's going to be warm this week. Thank God. So I don't have any reading updates for you because I haven't read anything. Um, and today, so I also haven't read anything because it's just been me trying um, to be here <laughs> and, pay and pay attention. Happy Wednesday. The fact that I was trying to read for 24 hours this week and I and I haven't, I literally, you guys, I'm not even kidding, I haven't even read for an hour yet. So, hopefully today we can make something happen because, like, we're already halfway through the week and this, this being sick has just really thrown a wrench in all of my plans. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your butts, all the things that um i can get back on track okay let's get back to business to defeat the huns i'm gonna continue watching my britney broski video and i will see you guys um hopefully later when some reading has been done okay okay love ya <laughs> see ya in a little bit hi we're on the floor right now we're having playtime and my playtime, I mean, I'm laying on the floor and Finn is attacking me. And by attacking me, I mean, he just runs at me. And he can't decide which angle to get me from. So currently, um, he's, he's on the other side of the cat tower. Have I done any reading? No, not a bit. Not a single bit of reading has been done. Oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, he's getting ready. He's coming. You'll probably just see him run across the screen. Oh, I have no idea that you're right there, honey. I can fully see him, by the way. He's not very good at hiding. Are you gonna come get me? Oh, he's getting closer, guys. You're about to witness 
a vicious predator. <laughs> He's right here. What are you doing? No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Silly boy. You can't see him. There he goes. Oh, you got me. I was so gotten. Are you going to give me? Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> this is our current situation day, if you would call it, because, yeah, I've done no reading. So I really don't know how this whole um, trying to read for 24 hours is going to go if I haven't even read for an hour. Oh, hi. Bye-bye. Look at him. <laughs> Finn. He's he really is the love of my life. I love this cat. Oh, so vicious. You gonna fall. Say hi. Hello. I'm Finn. I'm Finn. I'll get ya. I'll get ya. Say bye. We'll see you later. <laughs> Say bye. See you later. Ready? We're gonna end the video. We're gonna end. Oh, we got. Hey. Can you say goodbye to the oh hi? Ow! That's my hand! That's my hand! You can't bite my hand! He's like doing grabby hands. <laughs> Don't fall. You're gonna fall. No, don't launch yourself at me. This is my favorite when he just little paws, little paws. <laughs> He's gotta go guard the house now. Isn't that right, Finn? We gotta go guard the house now. Oh, he's like, gotta go pie. That's my cue, guys. We're guarding the house now. Well, good morning. Um, please excuse this. I don't, I don't like that. Also, please excuse my voice. Um, we are, you know, still trying to survive. Um, and, <laughs> um, yeah, I still no reading has been done. And I think I'm gonna fail this vlog, which honestly wasn't the intention, but um, considering our week, I think it tracks um, because we've not only been sick, um, but like being sick took me out. Like I didn't do anything Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, it was just trying to get caught back up. And today, I, I don't know if I'm gonna read. I honestly don't. I, ugh. God, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm trying, but I'm still, like, trying to survive. It's just not fun. I'm just down for the count. <laughs> um, I'm getting caught up again. I This morning, as you can see, we have all of the videos I edited this morning. Uh-oh. Our Mac will go to sleep soon. Hold on. Nice. I just have to deal with this for a little bit. Anyways, don't pay attention to what just happened. We have all of the videos I literally uh, edited before 7 a.m. today getting uploaded right now. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to do all the thumbnails. Um, tomorrow, the screen time vlog is going up, so I have to try to think about the thumbnail for that um, today. Um, but the rest of the thumbnails are going to get done later. Because I was reviewing the footage for the screen time vlog, and I was also reviewing the footage for the recaps you guys are going to see um, coming up. And the audio sounds better on my camera and it looks better on my camera. So I promptly cleaned out 
and made sure all of my SD cards were blank and good to go. So now I will have the ability to film at least three different vlog projects at once. So that's your morning update. I feel like I've essentially already abandoned the thought of trying to read for 24 hours this week. But honestly, are we really that surprised? Because I've been sick. And when I'm sick, I'm like the worst human being to be around. Not surprised that no reading got done. So hopefully I get some done today and we can get that timer going. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your butts, all the things that we can get some reading at least done. If I even get like two hours of reading done this week, I will be happy. <laughs> so, with all that said, I love you guys and I'll check in later. Hopefully, with a reading update and not me telling you that I have still not done any reading. Sure, Dorothy, please set us up for a win. <laughs> hello we do have an update oh my god my voice has gotten worse i didn't think that was possible but here we are my voice is worse and you might be like oh god dorothy are you okay yes my voice always sounds like this before i get better so we're just gonna keep taking our day quill and night quill guys and we're gonna hope for the best anyways i do have an update of the fact that i have in fact been reading I know, it's a shocker. I got my 11 hours finally down to eight and a half, which you might be thinking to yourself, wow, that's really not that much progress. And I would have to agree with you. And guess what? Tomorrow's Friday and I still need to technically read for an additional 12 hours after I finish this. But I have been reading. And what I have been reading is Water Under the Bridge by Kels and Denise Stone which was recommended to me by Jenny. Y'all, they haven't even done the do yet. They haven't, there has, there has been no smut yet. None. Well, there was a kiss. That was it. No smut though. And I'm at 67% now. I, I feel like this might be kind of like crack to me, but you know what? It's okay. We're thriving. We're vibing. We're, you know, having a good time. Everyone hope. Everyone, put your hopes up. Put your hopes in the air like you just don't care. I gotta, we need to stop talking so I can go back to reading. And so I can stop being weird, essentially. Okay, love ya, see you laters. Mwah. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. Number one, we, ha we got a new Jonas Brothers album today. Have I already listened to it? Yes. Is it my favorite album? No. Is it just a vibey time to put on? Is it just a vibey time to put on? To, um, you know, turn my brain off for a bit? Yes. And for that reason, I will continue to listen to it. I have added it to my um, library. And I will be putting it on um, my summer playlist just for fun because you know what it's a vibe has my hair been in this bun all week yes will we be showering today also yes did dorothy make progress on her reading though yes she did oh bitch hell yeah okay so last night i got the timer down from my original 12 hours to four and a half now tell me that's not progress. I had the time down to four and a half hours last night. With that said, I finished a book and started a new one and DNF'd another. I know, I got a lot to tell you. Number one, I finished Water Under the Bridge. I loved that shit. That was some good shit. Jenny knew what I wanted and needed. And she said, let me just sprinkle that in for you. Gave it 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed it. I think Luca is going to be in the hot men of 2023 list as he deserves. Because that man, the things he said, the things he said. Highly recommend that book. Really enjoyed it. Um, next up, I then started That Kind of Guy by Stephanie Archer. And I picked this up because it was a bookstagram recommendation and I kept seeing the cover and I was like, ooh, this sounds kind of like the tropes that I enjoy. 
let me give it a try. I DNF'd it. Essentially four chapters in, I was so bored. The writing did not have me at all. I was so bored. I didn't even care about the characters. I couldn't even tell you their names. I, I think the male was named Emmett. He had a construction business because that's all they talked about for his entire chapter. And then for some reason he decided to run for mayor. And I was like, okay. And overall, it just, it didn't, it didn't track. It didn't make sense. And, um, I was bored and I didn't want to read it. So I DNF'd it. Turn out sorry. But I did start another book called Into the Tide by Laura Pavlov. And I'm already really enjoying it. This is Brother's Sister. No. Brother's Best Friend. I was thinking of the fact because on the description it says Best Friend's Sister. And my brain is just... Anyways. Um, it's follow... And it's also small town um so the um male protagonist owns a couple of restaurants in their small town that they grew up in um his name is hugh love that um he uh, needs some help getting everything organized figuring out his financials and everything and his best friend travis's sister lila is coming home for the summer um from college after she finished her degree before she starts her big girl job or whatever um <clears throat> so she's coming home to help him with that because she has a you know a business degree she's gonna look at all of it figure it all out for him um they've known each other since they were literal uh, babies um and within the first five chapters they're already like oh shit i i am attracted to you and i love that it's just right off the bat it's like boom we're good to go and oh it makes, i was like oh am i gonna have to deal with so much pining but like i think it's gonna be overcoming the fact that um a this is his best friend's little sister and like they have a cute like a well hugh travis and their other friend brax all had a conversation before in like chapter one um being like ah oh, Hugh would never touch Travis's little sister. He's too loyal. And then it's like, oh, shit. She's hot, though. Um, which I appreciate. Um, so that is what we're doing. And we're reading that book. And I'm already intrigued. I'm already vibing. I already feel the chemistry. Maybe it's just because it hit me with the tropes. Yes, we started Into the Tide. I'm already into it. So that works for us. I think I can get our timer down today. Um, actually, wait a minute. It's like I can't because I have to be the one sorting today. So, never mind. Might not get the timer down all the way today, but it, I will still get it down today because we are going to Appleton tonight. Um, no, not Appleton. Nina. Um, because my boyfriend has wrestling there. But this morning, I have already gotten the thumbnail ready for the video that's going up. The day's a little bit uh, started. I'm going to do the descriptions and everything for the other two videos that I have going up next week. And yeah, we're having a good-ass time, guys. I'm thriving. So, that's your Friday morning update. I'm hoping I can get some progress done because this has been going on all week. And if I can't do... There's no way I can read for 12 hours tomorrow. I have to work. Which means I might have to try... No, because it has to be my cleaning day. So if we... I... I did not succeed in trying to read for 24 hours this week. Wow. Dorothy's a failure. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell your friends that I'm a failure. Just tell them I make fun content. In which sometimes I do fail. Which this week we are failing because I have to start the next vlog project. We can't keep this going, otherwise I'm gonna get confused. Which, um, it's gonna be fun. The next the next week we vlog, you guys are seeing, it's a good one. I'm excited, okay. I will 
see you guys hopefully with an update that I have either finished our timer or that I finished a book or something something we need something okay and hopefully if I at least read for 12 hours I half one no one worry okay we'll figure it out together all right all right I love you I will see you later y'all we gotta have a chat real quick number one no reading is getting done today which means um tomorrow I have to read for this four and a half hours and you want to know why no reading's getting done during work today birds you're ruining the moment if you want to know why no reading is getting done today bro if you want to know why no reading is getting done today it's because a new season of queer eye dropped on netflix and listen that is one of my favorite feel good shows and i will not i will not not spend my day watching it therefore I am consuming the content. This time they're in New Orleans. And listen, I I just, you know, Netflix said, hey, Dorothy, we know you've been a little bit sad. Here's your good feel time show. And I said, thank you. Also, second thing. Second thing, yesterday, Elsie Silver announced that she got picked up by Bloom. And I was like, oh my God, that's so exciting. I love her. Which is great. I love Elsie. I'm glad that she's being picked up by Bloom. But I was like, oh crap. My set isn't going to match. Because, you know, getting picked up by Bloom means they're going to be traditionally published. So I just automatically assumed I wouldn't be able to have my beautiful indie covers that I have. Well, Miss Ma'am said, I don't have to worry about that. And that I will be able to finish the series with all the indie covers. And I was like, oh shit. That means Bo's not getting a book. Because I just assumed that since Reckless is coming out and they said that they wouldn't, you know, have be republishing Reckless until December, I was like, oh, okay, that means Bo's not getting a book. That's kind of shitty. Well, guess what? I'm in Elsie Silver's uh, Influencer Facebook group and uh, she posted where her agent posted answers to her frequently asked questions about the Bloom transfer and confirmed that Bo is getting a book and that Bloom won't be taking over uh, the licensing for that until January 2024, which in my mind means that I'm getting Bo's book this year. I don't know when. I would love for her to just tell me that I get it the day after I get Reckless. I know that's not gonna happen, but I'm, a, I'm like, oh, so we getting, we getting, we getting Bo's book. I do. Number one, I fully know it's going to ruin me. Because here's the thing. There's some stuff that happens in Powerless that, um, you know, means that Bo's book is going to be very emotional. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm ready for it. However, I'm nervous how emotional it's going to be. Um, but like, I just, I've been waiting for Bo's book because he, uh, he seemed like the most interesting of the brothers because he works in the military. And I was like, wow, that's kind of, um, you know, interesting. Not, not sure how we're gonna do that because, well, you know, that stuff's supposed to be classified or whatever. We're not supposed to know stuff. I was like, hmm, I wonder how that's gonna work. And then with the stuff that happened in Powerless, I'm like, is Bo gonna emotionally ruin me as a human being? Which is also possible. So now that I know that I'm getting Bo's book, I'm just inconsolable because I'm like, A, too excited, and B, just thinking about all the possibilities and when it could come out. I'm gonna go back to watching Queer Eye season seven now, which by the way, um, the cry count is at two right now. I'm on episode three. So like, you know, keep that in mind. Because guess what? If you're like, oh, but Dorothy, if this is your feel-good show, why are you crying? It's my feel-good show, and the crying is for happy tears when the people see the good things that they've gotten because they deserve it. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Back to Queer Eye, okay? Okay. Love you? Love you. Peace out.
hello my loves happy saturday now this is my official telling you that i failed um because i don't think i'm gonna get four and a half hours done at work today but what you never know maybe it'll happen um i took happy place out of my purse because there's absolutely no way i'm reading that at work because i will start crying um i just feel it in my bones so instead i have um the score by l kennedy which feels safer <laughs> um uh let's give you an update of yesterday queer eye season seven loved it sobbed not sobbed cried eight times which you know is a substantial amount um loved this season i really really did i had a, such a good time watching it i really 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 liked it um but i also just in general love queer eye so take that for what you will um our wrestling day yesterday went really really well um i got one of our friends shirts and i was like ah, finally i'm supporting the friends um my boyfriend's gonna get me our other friend shirt today after um i venmo him um because my boyfriend's seeing them today but i am not because i have to be at work so sad but that's what i did yesterday i watched queer eye and then i went to wrestling and i had a good time i i nearly cried um during our friends match um because like <sighs> am i getting emotional talking about my friends right now probably it wouldn't be me if i didn't um because i was just was so proud of them we did it in so two of them went to high school where we had the show and then um one of them is a teacher in the school district and it was just like all of these people are here to support you guys and you guys have come literally so far since even i've met you we're having a match with two of the company's owners like this is insane and i filmed it for my friend and uh actually hey editing dorothy put in the clip of the finisher right here which is um our friend uh whose wrestling name is brooke tanner i love her so much she got the final um shot in got the pin and everything and when you hear the crowd cheering for her <laughs> sitting here recording this and I couldn't do anything because I'm trying to be really quiet for the video and um I was just sitting here recording it and I just looked up and I was like these are my friends and they're doing so well and their match was so good I just you know <sighs> felt like crying the whole time because I was just so proud I was so proud I am the sentimental mom friend okay in case anyone hadn't learned that yet that's who i am as a person oh also this morning i got starbucks because they have a brand new java chip mint frappuccino which sounds just like my favorite chiller from gloria jeans the mint chocolate bomb let me tell you it tastes the same if not better hopefully today i can get some reading in i'm not sure some saturdays it's busy some saturdays it's not we'll find out together friends Oh, on the sickness update, I'm doing much better. Um, my voice hasn't fully gotten there yet because my nose is just a little stuffy yet. But otherwise, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're surviving. The boyfriend is feeling better. Thank God. His throat probably is a little bit uh, bothered today. But that's to be expected because he did ring announcing last night. So that is your morning update. The next time you see me, I will be. I will have been done with work. And maybe, just maybe, I will have gotten my four and a half hours done. Crazier things have happened, y'all. Okay. I love you. And I'll see you after work to end this video. Remember when I said the last clip would be me confirming my um, failure? Yeah, it's Monday now. So we have to end this video because I failed miserably. Um, I ended up getting my timer down to three hours and 13 minutes, which is really not that much. Um, so the 
how long can Dorothy read for 24 hours uh, <laughs> is a failure. Um, and, you know, I think that's okay, because when you think about it, it wasn't for lack of trying. It was for the fact that I was sick and unable to do anything. We'll have to try again. <laughs> so this is, this is the official ending now. <laughs> um, because on Saturday, after I finished work, I went to see a wrestling show where my boyfriend was and a bunch of our friends were because I just wanted to see them. And um, then yesterday was Mother's Day. Um, happy Mother's Day to anyone who has a actual child, an adopted child, a fur child, whatever. Happy Mother's Day to you. Um, I went to breakfast with my friend, um, had a good time, went to lunch with my boyfriend and his family, and then I took a big ass nap. <laughs> um, and then after that nap, I went, hung out with my friend, and then came home, promptly went to sleep. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's been your weekly vlog. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you guys have any more weekly challenges for me to try, because I want to keep doing this because it feels like it adds something to life besides me just being like, hey, this is what I did today. <laughs> give me those suggestions down below. And, and if you guys like this content, you can subscribe. Um, we have good things coming in May. We have good things coming in June. Very exciting things coming in June, in fact. And by the time this video goes up, I'm just gonna let you know that there's an announcement coming. So, with that said, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!